Relatives of the workers killed last week in that underground fire in Dallas at Thanksgiving Tower say they are not giving up until they find out why it happened and what happened. They spoke today as attorney Domingo Garcia announced plans for an independent investigation into why those men died 35 feet underground one week ago today. Fox 4 Sean Rabs in our Dallas newsroom tonight with more on this developing story. Sean. Yeah, family members say that's what they really want, Heather. Answers to how this horrific accident happened and better uh, safety and protection for workers as they grapple with their pain. As you can see, it's causing a lot of pain and suffering to my family. Jose Velasquez stands as the voice of his family, struggling with the death of Oscar Esparza Romo. A family portrait with his wife and kids shows the man among those killed in last week's Thanksgiving Tower fire. The kids, they're in shock still. Um, you know, they want to understand what happened and why it happened. And that's all we're asking for here. And not asking alone. We want to know, you know, what caused it. Ephraim Carrillo's father and cousin died also. Grief-stricken family members travel from Sacramento, California, here where their dead relatives left to take this job just three months ago. You know, my dad used to be a, a happy person. There was, he was a friend of everybody. He used to, he, his passion was singing. Witnesses to last week's fire, attorney Domingo Garcia says, heard an explosion, then saw a ball of fire and smoke. There was no ladders going in and out of that location. There was only a lift. Uh, they were basically trapped and could not get out. And so we believe that the proper training, the proper equipment, uh, we're all lacking. The Federal Occupational Safety Health Administration, OSHA, continues its investigation. Dallas Fire Rescue says it's still trying to determine a cause. Garcia plans to carry out an independent investigation next week. But for these families who've lost husbands, fathers, grandfathers. We need justice. And answers. More than anything, we want to prevent stuff like this from happening again um, to other families. Now, Garcia has not filed a lawsuit yet. He says he's in the investigation stage, and when he's able to identify who's responsible, then he says, quote, we'll hold them accountable in a court of law. And Heather, one of the men who died, uh, Nicasio Carrillo, had been in the service, food service restaurant industry until he took this job just three months ago, moving to Dallas for the job because he needed to support his family that, again, back in California. All right, so Sean, talking about lawsuits and responsibility and all these things, three mm -hmm. businesses potentially responsible, correct? Correct, Heather, exactly. First of all, Lincoln Properties. Now, that would be the company managing Thanksgiving Tower and the many million dollars in renovations taking place. This fatal work accident, part of that. Uh, Best Mechanical, the company that brought in the subcontractor, Texas HVAC, that's who these three men were working for. And according to Domingo Garcia, he says sources have told him that uh, though the men were working 35 feet below ground, there was no oxygen equipment, uh, proper safety procedures were not in place. Uh, so Garcia is bringing in a fire expert from Houston and a former OSHA administrator to look at what happened when the fire broke out underground and uh, see how those workers wound up trapped underground dying from smoke inhalation. All right, so there's a lot to figure out for investigators. Meantime, just a really sad situation for those families. Yes, indeed, very sad, of course, especially this time, this time of year. year. All right, Sean Rabbit, our newsroom. Thanks, Sean. All right.